I'm Charles Champion. I'm head of engineering at Airbus, the world leading aircraft manufacturer. An engineer, it's about making dream a reality. And when I read that only 10% of the young boys and 1% of the young girls, when they become older, select engineering or see that they would like to be engineers, it shows that uh, somehow we have lost uh, the dream and the passion to make these young boys and young girls become engineers. Engineering is about uh, actually using science, using experience, using experiment, using theory, using practice to make things happen. And if you look at aviation today, a century ago we were just talking about the first hops and now we are carrying passengers at a very low consumption, providing all types of amenities on board and there are still lots to do in aviation in the future. So this is why we need engineers. Diversity is important in engineering because to succeed you need to be able to confront different points of views and look what is the best possible solution. We at Airbus, we started with the uh, French, the German, the Spanish, the British and also Americans and it was always a, a bit of a challenge to align everyone but this was very rich. It showed that by diversity you could actually have innovative solutions which would not come up from one single way of thinking and this is why for us in engineering particularly in aircraft which is a, a global world where you need to integrate lots of technologies diversity will be the key for success in the future if you look at Airbus today we've got probably 100 nationalities and this is really a, an asset we want to hire and we actually manage to hire more than 25 percent uh, female even though in engineering schools it's not so easy to attract uh, young females towards engineering the global engineering deans council is an association of uh, deans or heads of engineering in various schools and universities across the world we have decided to work together in order to attract new talents in engineering for the future and we decided to establish an award for diversity that we will jointly select in order to foster talent in diversity and engineering in the future. The award will be given to someone who has delivered a step change in terms of attracting diversity in engineering. It can be a teacher, a professor, why not a dean? But this person has to actually demonstrate also through a project or through an initiative that he or she has managed to attract diversity within engineering, let it be gender, uh, unprivileged neighborhoods or diversity in terms of education or diversity in terms of origin. So it's really to actually act as a, an incentive for also all the engineering universities across the world to think diversity and also think projects that actually can deliver that diversity. Well, in the, the whole process in, in a few single worlds, it's about uh, submitting a project. So uh, if you wish to join, you have until end of May this year to do so. Afterwards, we have a working committee with deans and also uh, contributors from the industry, from Airbus, that will uh, down select 10 projects. And myself, I've got the great honor and privilege to chair the evaluation committee with the head of the GDC so that we can actually select out of these 10 what is the best project. The award will be given in October in Chicago at the GEDC conference. So we look forward to three finalists that will be rewarded and the top, the top award will get a price of $10,000 in order to help him or her actually sustain the project and help him or her bring that diversity in, engin in engineering. But I think beyond the, the price itself, it's really about recognition and taking the opportunity to recognize the work that is done today already by individuals in engineering schools and engineering universities to attract diversity and make that step change we need.